okay dear student let us see what is there in this question an object of mass m makes n revolutions per second around a circle of radius r at a constant speed what is the kinetic energy of the object okay fine so first of all we know that the formula of the kinetic energy is always given by half mv square okay so this is a circular motion that we're considering now so there is this bob which is moving with velocity v this is r and the uh, answers have been given in the terms of pi and all that so it means that we have to convert it into um, the angular velocities um, and the uh, rpm the rotations per minute and all that so let us see so we can say that v is equal to r omega and omega is the angular velocity that is to be taken here now because the question is giving us n revolutions per second so it is rps so we have to convert omega into rps so omega there is a formula this omega is taken as 2 pi n by 60 or uh, we don't need 60 2 pi n because n is now given in uh, per second already so omega will be already in per second so we need not to divide it by 60 so omega is equal to 2 pi n from here we can find omega and we will substitute it here so it will be half m v square this it will be half m and omega will be 2 pi small n because it is per second now omega into radius r square now we will open this bracket it will become 4 pi square n square r square so this will become 2 so 2m pi square n square r square so yes c is the correct answer so this is how we do this question so there are two three uh, three formulas that we are using number one is for kinetic energy number two is for velocity and number three is for omega and we want to convert it into revolutions per second so this is a very important question i would say please do not overlook this okay this is a very important question because whenever a revolutions per second or revolution per minute is given it becomes difficult for students to find what will be the angular velocity because this formula they do not uh, remember. So that's why this is a very important question. So this is Professor Burun, dear students, all the best.